Welcome to the introduction video to the Circuit Playground Express microcontroller. We're going to start off by going over some helpful definitions. First one is LED. That stands for light emitting diode, and that is a device that lights up when an electric current passes through it, just like a light. An alligator clip, an alligator clip is a metal clip attached to an electric cable that can be used for making connections to batteries, LEDs, other components that you might want to connect to your micro microcontroller. Moving on, we have a port and pin. So ports are inside of the microcontroller and allow the program to control the pins while pins connect electronically to the outside world. So you need your pins to connect to your port and then you need your port to control your pins, essentially. Next is analog and digital. So analog is used for reading or sending information and it can take any number of values. And digital, it can only take only has two values that's high and low and it's used mainly for on and off because it only has the two values moving on we are going to talk about the microcontroller itself I'm gonna write over some parts to show you and describe what they do I'm just gonna dive on in um, right here is the micro USB connector and that it can be used for power or for USB communication for USB communication, that would be when you're plugging it into a computer and you're uploading your code to it, basically. All right, and then we'll come right down here directly on the other side of the board is your battery connector. So that's used to power the board with an external battery. And so taking these batteries in or out can be kind of a pain. So you'll, what you'll want to do is use pliers when taking it out to avoid damage to the microcontroller or the battery and just because it's a lot easier overall. All right, move. Oh, because it's kind of a pain to take the battery out, it's recommended that you use this micro USB up here, which we just talked about, to power your board until you're finished, basically. All right, moving on to this green on indicator LED right here. So that is an on indicator LED. So when the board is powered on and has power coming into it, that'll indicate that it's on. Next is this one right here, this number 13. That will blink red when your board is in bootloader mode. And bootloader mode means that code is being uploaded to your microcontroller. Okay, um, moving on. We're going to move on to all of these pads out here. So that we're going to start with the power pads. So power pads are basically the pads that will give power to your your components off of your board basically so these will give out power so those are ground VBAT and 3.3 volts I think that's all and there's six of them total so the ones we are gonna focus on are ground and so the way you use these is you will just connect whatever you're connecting, whether it be an alligator clip, conductive thread, copper wire, whatever you're using, and you're going to want to connect it to the negative side of whatever else you're using, like your light. So say this is an LED right here. You're going to want to connect your ground to the negative side. And then next, we'll talk about the rest of those pads, which, we do, which are all these ones. These are your input and your output pads, which all these ones that are labeled, I think there are eight of them total. So there are eight input and output pads. And those are what you're going to be using to connect to your project to code it, basically. So like we said, if this is your LED, LED, and your ground is connected to your negative, you're going to want to, we're going to use 10 for this one, connect that to your positive. And then you can code this number 10 pad to either turn it on and then turn it off or to make it blink like well that is blinking or any other thing you want to do with it but does that make sense oh just to clear up some information we're going to talk about input and output real fast so input just means that it sends information to this to the system for processing so, this, so it's taking in information and then output means it's displaying the result of that processing does that make sense all right moving on to the next parts of the board we have a series of leds right here 10 leds 
And these can be coded to light up any color, any order, any sequence, however you want them to light up. So pretty fun. It can also go with music. And we'll move on to that right here because there's a speaker right here. So you can play music with it. There's also a microphone for recording, temperature sensor, as well as a light sensor. Also, some other cool things about the board. If you have a reset button, that'll reset your microcontroller. We have a button right here and a button right here. And both of those buttons can be coded to do something for whatever project you're working on. As well as this switch, which also can be coded to suit your needs, basically, just like the other two buttons. All right, so we've gone over the basics of the microcontroller. I'm going to show you real quickly how to pull out the battery with the pliers just to help you guys out and moving on to the additional resources so um adafruit's website the link's right there it has an overview of the entire board as well as a lot more in-depth uh, descriptions of a lot of the parts of it how to use it things like that all sorts of stuff that's super helpful and then these other videos are just two other videos of people that also made a video introducing the Circuit Playground Express.